It's Thanksgiving week here in the United States. And so people are pulling out their recipes. They're thinking about turkeys and hams and dressing and all the stuff that goes along with the holidays, Black Friday. And I'm finding out that they're also thinking about their business, which of course intrigues me. One of the questions that keeps coming up in my DMs is can I and should I rebrand my podcast to be more in line with my business? And so today's episode, I'm going to give you a little bit of a tangent or a rant. My thoughts on the subject. Here they are, folks. Yes. Why not? Why shouldn't you rebrand? As you evolve as a business owner and as your business grows and you grow with it, there is no reason to feel stuck. There's no reason to feel like the person you were when you started your little old pod three years ago has to be the same person you are now. Because honestly, if you're not growing and evolving, then are you really helping your listeners? Now, does that mean you should rename the podcast or redo the color scheme? That is really a business decision that is up to you. Sorry, not sorry to tell you that, but there's no hard and fast answer. I'll tell you what's going on with me here in the B word at Podcast Her. You may have noticed a new cover has shown up in your podcast player, and there are some new colors involved. Yes, I did do a rebrand on the aesthetic look of the podcast. We're keeping the name the B word, although we did really contemplate whether we should rename it to be more in line with the business, which is Podcast Her. And at the end of the day, it just didn't sit right with me. I know that many, many businesses out there and brands have a podcast named after their brand. Take Lindsay Schwartz's podcast, Powerhouse Women. It's named exactly after the brand. Or my mentor, Natalie Ellis, has Boss Babe, which is named after her brand, Boss Babe. For me, I absolutely love the name, The B Word. I believe it speaks to my soul and I believe it really speaks about who I am. Yes, my last name is B, starts with a B. Bolt. So you can look at it as it's a little bit of the word of Bolt. But the reality is, many, many women entrepreneurs, especially highly ambitious entrepreneurs, can get viewed as bitches. And so that was originally the thought process behind the B word. You may have noticed that from a previous episode where I talked about, you know, the origin of the B word's name. But as I really kind of looked at where we're going in 2024. And I did the business planning. The other thing that was not sitting well with me was the color scheme. Now, be clear. I love me some pink. I do. I love to wear it. I look good in it. It's a color scheme that works with me and my very pale, bright blue eyes, you know, blonde hair, like it goes with that. But it's also a little Barbie-ish. And When I started looking at the color scheme, the blues and the pinks and the confetti everywhere, I got to tell you, I was stuck. And I believe I was stuck because there was a misalignment between what the brand portrayed and who I really was as the owner of Podcast Her and as the owner of the B word and as I'm helping women. And I sat down with my marketing team and we took a look at things and I said, you guys, here's the deal. I have a podcast called The B Word. Most people associate it, the B word, with bitch. I also drop the F-bomb with regularity. I think nothing of saying a good fuck. Let's just be honest. It's part of me. It's part of who I am. So if you've got the leader of an organization who says fuck, who has a podcast called The B Word, but who has a heart of gold, very passionate about helping women build their own business in their own way, There was just this misalignment between the pink fluffy stage and the who I actually am. I'm not crass. I'm not brass, but there's something in between. And so I started looking at what other colors appealed to me and I settled on the black as the main background with this beautiful, beautiful purple color. Now, ironically, if you followed along for a hot minute, you know that there was a time period in my career where I worked as the national recruitment director for Sigma Kappa Sorority. It's where I learned to throw a great event, by the way. Their national color is lavender. So clearly I've always been drawn to some form of purple. But when I looked at lavender, it sort of had that connotation for me that the the bright pink and the blue and the confetti did. It was still a little light and a little fluffy. 
And I'm all about no fluff, no BS. Let me tell you how it is. Let me get to the heart of things and help you actually build that biz. So when we looked at the purple schemata, I went with a more deep, deep purple to really pop and stand out against that black background. And of course, I did throw in a little bit of bright blue because I do also love blue. Again, it looks really good on me. Coincidentally enough, I actually do think purple looks good on everyone too. So maybe I'm also just drawn to colors I look good in. I don't know, but it was definitely time for me to level up the look and feel of the brand to be more aligned with the voice behind it, which is my voice. So if you're looking at the cover art, you've been watching me on the Instagram at it's Joanne Bolt or the new Instagram account podcast, her dash Inc you probably have noticed a new look and feel to things. And you might have wondered along the way, what in the heck is she doing? Well, guys, that's it. I'm rebranding. I'm just putting on a new outfit. That's it. That's all there is to it. And you can do that too. Take some time, really sit in alignment with, you know, does the color scheme that I've got really work with me as the owner of my company? Does the name of the podcast feel good to me? Is it aligned with the business or is it aligned with me personally? Can I intertwine the two? Is it time to make a shift with the name of the podcast or not? Here's the truth behind it. If you shift your podcast and you completely rebrand, like name, topic, who you're talking to, what you're talking about, that's okay. Take your listeners along on the journey. The B word used to be for real estate agents. If you actually take the time to go back to episode one through probably episode 50 was all for real estate agents. Well, there's nothing related to real estate now, because again, I evolved as an entrepreneur. You're welcome to do that too. I don't always recommend that you just shut down your old podcast and start a new one because you've already like banked up all that SEO on your old podcast. Just take your listeners along on the journey with the new name and maybe pull them in do some polling on your Instagram, ask their opinions, ask for feedback on where they see your podcast going. Who do they think you are? Why are they currently listening? And why would they continue listening? Because if you're feeling that internal pull on, it's time to do a little bit of shifting and changing. I do encourage you to check in with your people and just see, is your ideal avatar along for the ride? Or are you just bored? Because let's be honest, some of our human designs, we could just be bored and looking for a change. So there you go. That's my two, maybe four cents worth of thoughts on rebranding. Right now, it is a good time if you're going to do it. Lots of people start listening to podcasts in about January because they have finished with the holidays. They're back in business. They're all geared up with their plans, their goals, their visions for the next year. And listening to podcasts for education purposes and help in getting where they want to go in their business is oftentimes a huge part of their plan. So if you are going to rebrand, do it now, do it over the holidays so that you can get it out there by January 1st, because I promise you your downloads are actually going to go up at the first part of the year. That's it for now. That's the no BS behind the scene of building a successful business with your podcast as the chief marketing officer of your not so small and mighty empire. I'll see you same time, same place next week.